Greetings fellow YouTubians, this Secret Snake here bringing a small update to the tutorial on making 10k coolant cells with IC2 experimental that's industrial craft and um, this is necessary because it was lacking some information that you really needed to know to understand how to process the steam correctly. Uh, basically the steam generator. That's what this little mini, mini uh, video is for, which I will put at the end of the tutorial so you can understand how it works. Now that I understand, I can teach you. Um, first we have to get down to, this is mine shaft, it goes to bedrock that's not where we're going. This is where I have my setup for uh, coolant. Let me first empty some of this just to make it a little less. Alright, there we go. So uh, Should be here <laughs> somewhere. I don't know why it does that. All right, so basically what I'm gonna be showing you is how to use the steam generator. So here's how it works. We have, for every 100 uh, heat units that are being transferred to the steam generator, it will, uh, you want to have one tick, one, I mean, one ma uh, millibuckets worth per tick. Um, I have two extra heat uh, generators hooked up. So here's how this works. We're going to go ahead and add 200 heat units. Now you see it's not working at the moment because, oh, and something else I'd like to show you. Uh, see this little orange thing? This is the copper I suppose you could say this is the contact point this needs to be touching the machine that needs to accept the heat so with that let's get that that way again all right so right now this machine's not running as you can see even though it's set to make it work we need to increase these ticks right now it's at one millibucket which is for 100 uh, heat units and this is producing steam which is being converted to distilled water, which is being, you know, the usual. All right, so to make this other one work, we need to increase this by right here, just one little tick. Now we're getting two millibuckets uh, per tick, which means we're in, there's 200 heat units. Now you see this one's working. So we have 200, oh, and if you notice that little shaking thing, that's actually a shader pack or a shader for making grass and trees uh, sway around. I don't know why it's affecting blocks, but it is. Anyway, so now we have 200 heat units going through, and we have this set to 2 millibuckets uh, per tick, and it's producing steam perfectly. Um, and the steam's about to go exploding so this is where the heat vents come in so on the condenser right now these explosions don't do anything but I'm going to assume later on they may destroy other blocks uh, or destroy itself or if not at the very least produce heat damage because well this is steam uh, that's being ejected so it may not destroy any blocks, but it would most likely hurt you with steam. So to fix that, we need heat vents. So the, the point of this is that you need to set this with the correct amount of heat vents. So right now, one is not enough. So let's add two. Now that heat will just dissipate really quickly. Well, it's producing much quicker, but the heat's being 
leveled out right here slowly but surely it's stable with 200 all right so what happens when we add uh, another 100 so let's increase this to three now we have this set to three now that's not all we have to do now um, actually on two it's not even but <coughs> you may let me get this go ahead and put another one in here put these in here and get this yeah there we go it's lowering all right so what I'm wanting to show you is it's not doing it at the moment you may have to give it a increase in pressure by one bar or two um, right now it's not doing it it's wanting to be a something oh I see why my power what is going on with my power well, this sucks all right let me fix this here shoot great time for it to do this let's just grab mechanism let's just grab a cube and we will apply power there we go there we are now everything should be yeah great all right now you see how it's flickering now that's with 200 heat units so to fix this let's turn this back down to two uh, it's flickering you don't want that so what you need to do to fix this is to add one bar now it's working now we're getting steam and everything's working like it's supposed to uh, oh and this does require lots of power by the way so as you realized just a minute ago <laughs> I have a lot of power being produced and it just sucked it all up all right so now let's add the 300 uh, heat units so now we have 300 heat units being produced with three mill buckets per tick so if this starts flickering again what you need to do is just add an extra bar or whatever to stabilize it I'm not sure if it's gonna have cause a problem right now right now it looks very stable but it could uh, well it don't matter you keep those in there yeah it seems pretty stable so but if it does start flickering again like that just give it an extra bar whatever it takes but it's a not too difficult it's just slowly changing these numbers to get them to work right remember for every heat 100 heat you want one more tick worth of uh, millibuckets so you don't want 400 millibuckets because well I guess that's not going to be good since it's only producing 300 heat now I guess giving it an extra bar ain't going to help either is it what about no bars of course not so it's just the number game so just make sure you have it set correctly 300 heat units equals three millibuckets worth of ticks per tick of water and one bar so that should take care of you one to two bars one bar at two 200 milliticks anyway I hope this helps uh, I had no idea how this thing worked but now I have a small idea so that should get you producing lots and lots of coolant for yourself now you do not have to put it in the uh, here you can simply just put empty cells up here and it would fill these up for you without the tank but I like to store it so that's why it's there and aha see we're starting to get flickering so what does that mean we're getting flicker is this thing empty? Holy monkey's uncle boy, that, that, that's amazing. 
that that this holds a heck of a lot of energy uh, and it just demolished it <laughs> that's pretty amazing so yeah you're gonna need quite a powerful energy source to run that many uh, heat generators uh, see anyway this is now full <laughs> Uh, well, I guess I'll end the video here. Ten minutes in. More longer than I planned. I just wanted to explain to you how the steam generator works. So I hope it helps, and as Dyer always says, take it easy.